I was able to improve mobility in the subtalar joint and now when I push the heel, I, the heel does move into eversion. And uh, I can now twist the heel medially and uh, the foot does go into abduction. Um, that ligament still appears lax. She still seems to have a little bit of extra inversion relative to the other side. So I think at this stage of the game it's appropriate to teach her how to keep this mobility but also to use an ankle brace that supports the foot up in dorsiflexion and eversion and to use that for at least six weeks. And um, she has beautiful balance standing on that left foot. She's been working on it with yoga and balance activities. Um, but let's have you walk and give me some feedback on how it feels. I, I, I do see a little bit of improvement in the laxity. Um, it's, it's a little bit less than what it was before. So let's have you walk and give me some feedback. And it's a little hard to capture on the camera, so I'm not even trying. But do you notice that the foot now goes into a little more pronation? Yeah, it just feels a little bit more stable. Stable. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's paradoxical that you had an ankle that had laxity in one direction. You had laxity when the heel went into inversion, and yet treating it with mobilization to restore the eversion and to restore the abduction was helpful in adding stability. So it's a, you know, some people think mobilization is contraindicated with laxity, but actually in the opposite direction it can be helpful. So I think we're off to a good start, and uh, I thank you for letting me film it. Yeah.